Oh, yeah. Hi guys, welcome. Uh, thanks for tuning in to the Big Three, my sweet for their tears. This weekend you may have noticed that um, I was coming, I'm coming along to Morton Island to join Chris Patterson for his, uh, say hello Chris. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's a personable fella, he's got, he's got a lot of charm to him as you can see. Um, so obviously, so I'm just going to ask Chris, so what's this all about bro? Um, I think just, I just got inspired by Damien Ryder doing challenges, pushing yourself. Yeah. So I started doing little challenges and now we run on 100k around Morton. So it's just yeah. pushing yourself physically and mentally. Yeah. Um, because I set my goals quite high. So by knocking off a few challenges like this, 100k, yeah. you're just going yeah. to be able to... So yeah. why Morton Island and why 100k? Um, well, around the island's about 90. And I thought if I'm going to run 90, it's just got to be triple figures. So wow. we're just going to, we're going to clock up 100 on the watch. And so <laughs> we, we, even if we get around the island, it's 85 k's we go until it says 100. Well, there's no, po there's no <laughs> point until you get to those big figures, man. Yeah, for sure. So, and so for you, what's Bamboo Projects really about? Uh, so Bamboo Projects, we take people fishing with physical disabilities, mental disabilities. So I'm a survivor of depression and anxiety. Um, so I looked at more natural ways to cure my depression through uh, meditation, exercise uh, and healthy nutrition. So I don't take any depressants anymore, been 10 years sober um, and running's just sort of become a way of life. It's a lifestyle, I enjoy it now. Um, so I'm addicted to running, so. Yeah, yeah. No, that's awesome. And the, bit of, the great thing about this is that not running isn't for everyone. Some people like paddle boarding, some people like riding, some people like art. But for Chris, for you, it's running. Yeah, I think running is just, I don't know, it's simple. You can, anyone can throw on a pair of sneakers, go for a run along the beach. Yeah. Um, it's not that expensive. You get into kayaking, paddle boarding, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, sailing, it starts getting expensive, so anyone can go for a run. Um, yeah. Everyone's got a pair of shoes. Have you got an example of someone that you've helped through Bamboo Projects? Um, yeah, Brett is one of the first guys we helped. So yeah. when he rang me, he was suicidal and he was struggling. He was seeing a doctor, he was taking antidepressants. Yeah. Um, but just that going out in a boat and having that mateship, um, as guys, you know, we've still got feelings that we still want to connect with other humans yeah, and man. stuff like that. So just that connection that we sort That's of have right. out there, it was just an extra thing that sort of said, you know, yeah. that kept him going. Yeah. So was was Brett the one that really cemented what you're doing is right? Yeah, I think it, it did because he said to me, he goes, oh, Chris, you've helped me more than any doctor has in 20 years. Yeah. And I had a lot of self-doubt of myself because I'm not a doctor. No. I don't have any degrees. I've just battled it myself. Yeah and found things that work for me and I just yeah. want to help others through that so I think it's yeah. you don't need a degree to actually give a shit about someone and want to help yeah. them get their life back on track. Yeah so 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 you know Chris has a beautiful wife Christy and he has two beautiful boys as well what were you doing before you started doing this what have you sacrificed to get Bamboo Project started? Um, well I've worked in the construction industry for probably on and off 20 years yeah um, and I just, I just felt a calling. I just had to, to do this charity work. So I, I quit my job in construction. My wife supported me through that. Yeah. Um, and you know, the kids still eat. Um, sometimes the bills might not get paid on time as they used to. Um, and we still eat and we might not yeah, be yeah. going out for steaks. We might be having scrambled eggs at home or something. But it, it, you know, when you hear stories like Brett saying, you yeah. know, you've saved my life, it's, it's, it's all the way um, yeah. Award sort of there. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's awesome, man. And, and that's pretty much what the big three is all about, is about challenging yourself and getting out of your rut. And I know that comfortability is a big thing. Like for Chris, he had a secure job. He had a, had a pretty good future with that. You know, it was a definite thing for his future and his family. But for himself, he knew what was good for him, his family and the community and what needed to get done. So today, here we go. So I'm, I'm really proud and honoured to be able to share this uh, this brutal brutal uh challenge with chris this is uh it's going to take us about 18 hours we're starting here at tangaluma island resort um where, where they've gracefully uh and gratefully they've given um, chris a, a good privilege of being able to stay here in, in a beautiful villa um and so we're pretty much going to start we're starting on the uh mainland side and we're going to work our way around around to the ocean side and maybe you know we'll get a lot of the daylight through the strait um but you know, as you can over here, we've got shipwrecks, as you can see. Um, and then we also have got some beautiful, uh, like during the day, these dolphins that come up. So we're going to have some great views. We're going to have some great times. We're going to be able to share some brutal uh, moments with each other. I'm sure it's going to be great. We'll be smiling like this in about 16 hours. Yeah, in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> so Chris, thanks for letting me be a part of it, man. No worries, man. 
Okay, thanks everyone for tuning in to the Big Three My Sweat for Their Tears. And as I said, this is Chris Patterson, he runs Bamboo Projects. You can find them as a, as a registered charity and also find them online um, on Facebook as well. So wherever you can, get in touch with this guy. If you know someone that's going through something bad and you know that it would personally affect you, but they're not saying anything about it, just get in touch with Chris. And let's see if Chris can get in touch with your friend or if your friend can get in touch with Chris. So anyway, thanks for tuning in to the big three. Remember, strive, thrive and live every day. Get out there and help someone else. It also helps you. And I'm, as I said, I'm very honoured and uh, proud to be here with this great man. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. See you later. Bye.